You know that we always love welcoming the students from the Academy of Music Performance, or AMP Studio, to the Mid-South Audio Stage. This is a neat program that actually teaches and coaches kids on how to perform. With us this afternoon, we are happy to have many of those kids, along with co-owner co Gino Bailey, who's a kid in his own right anyway, and also Dr. Nick Dudas. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. You're actually in the Mid-South Audio Studios in Milton. Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Gino, uh, this is your eighth year. Give us a more in-depth idea of what you guys do at AMP Studios. Uh, basically, we give the we we we're, we're looking for kids who play guitar, bass, drums, keyboards, and that sort of thing. Um, it's kind of after they take lessons for a couple years, we kind of set them up um, and teach them how to perform and um, work as a team. So many times, as um, young musicians, um, guitar players, you know, they get stuck in the room staring at a mirror. Um, of themselves play and never get the opportunity to play with other kids. So we, we came up with this idea stemming from um, rock and roll revival there in Salisbury at Bennett High School um, of how we could get these kids together. So we, we created the school. Um, we share our experiences as, as live professional musicians and what we do and um, basically just give the kids a platform at that point once they, uh, once they know the songs and... Uh, we just give them a platform in which to do what they love to do. Okay, so Nick, explain to me where you come into all of this, and who is this group behind you? Well, this is the major minors. These knuckleheads uh, I'm the instructor of, <laughs> and uh, it's been just a pleasure. I, I started out uh, meeting Gino and his wife Susan through my involvement with the Rock and Roll Revival show at Bennett, and they asked me to uh, spend one night a week with this band, uh, basically mentoring, counseling them, and drawing upon my own musical experience to help them put together a performing band. So these guys are actually learning from professional musicians. Yes, absolutely. All of our instructors are professional musicians that perform for years themselves on stages all across the country through, while they were in college and as they go into their, they, everybody moved into their adulthood. I played with a band called Blue Junction for about 10 years here on the shore. Um, I know Nick paid his way through college, you know, playing music, so. Wow. So, and, and we're talking students of all skill levels are welcome? Yes, absolutely. The young and old. Because um, a lot of times as, as a vocalist, you don't even know um, that you really have it in you until you get up there and do it. Um, so we, we've had kids as young as nine in the program. Um, and wow. they, and we stopped. I'm not going to say we stop because we have actually an adult program also. Um, but the kids kind of graduate out of the student program at, at 18. So we're going to hear from the major minors here in just a moment. What are they going to be doing? Why don't you tell them, Max? Me? Oh, okay. We, uh, whose life is a highway by? There's like That is Rascal, Rascal Flats. Flats. Yeah. Rascal Flats. We're playing Life is a Highway and Lights by Journey. Yeah, I think it was originally done by, is it Cochran, John Cochran or something like oh, that? Oh, it is. That's yeah. a good question. Yeah. Uh -huh. Life is a hey, it doesn't yeah. matter. Major minors are doing it today, huh? Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to hear that here in just a second. Gino, Nick, Major Miners, thank you for talking to us this afternoon. By the way, th please be sure to tell Susan thank you for all you guys do for these kids. It is absolutely fantastic. Students from the Academy of Music Performance take the stage at Mid-South Audio in Milton. <laughs> 